you are warmly welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be talking about binance p2p trading so what do i mean by binance p2p now binance p2p simply is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that actually allows users to buy and then sell cryptocurrencies directly with other binance users so we are going to learn how to buy a cryptocurrency just as you have said earlier so now we know that p2p is used when you want to buy uh, or sell from other Binance users so that's what we are going to be doing so now for this video what we'll be doing is we are going to learn how we can buy cryptocurrency with what mobile money yeah, so if you want to fund your account with mobile money either MTN or Telesel cash how do you go about it so stay tuned and let's do this together so what you have to do now as you know already now if you click on the Binance logo So now we know the Binance logo. So if you tap on the Binance logo, there's an option right below here that is called Binance Lite. So I can, as you can see from here, Binance Lite. So let's tap on that and I'll show you something. So once I tap on Binance Lite, you're seeing what happens here. Let's look below. Now you're seeing that the content that is appearing right below here, we have Market, Square, Trade, Discover, and then Portfolio. If you want to be in the P2P trading, to be able to buy or sell is advisable to make sure that the pattern that you see below here is not shown as it is it's supposed to be binance pro so what we selected was binance light so we need to switch to binance pro in order to use the p2p uh, feature so we're going to cancel it out then we go back and click on the arrow of binance once again let's click on the logo once again and once i click on the logo now you can see it has changed from binance light to what binance pro right below so you can see from here so it is no more binance light it's now binance pro so we're going to tap on binance pro and then to give us the access to the p2p interface so once we are here we're going to click on uh, wallet so if you click on wallet it's going to actually tell you the amount or the currency the amount you have in the usdt so this is the currency that currently i have so that's basically what i have in here so we're going to tap on funding and once you tap on funding you'll be presented with this option you see here p2p so that's where we're going to go for because we want to buy from a merchant or from a Binance user so we're going to tap on p2p once you tap on p2p you'll be presented with a list of merchants that is available to make or to sell cryptocurrencies to you at the same time remember that you can also buy as well you can buy and then sell so there's two options you have uh, a tab called buy and another tab called what sell so if you already have a cryptocurrency and you want to sell it out for mobile money or you want to sell it out and then someone a person sends you mobile money or sends it into your bank account whichever way you prefer that is for where you go for what sell but if you go for buy then it means that you don't have any currency and you want to what buy a currency from that particular merchant and that's our target so we leave it to buy and if you click on so you can see the button buy will be will be changed to what sell so you can see over here now we have what sell so you can see there is sell now so we're going to switch back to buy and you can see these are some merchants that are available to buy and uh, to sell this cryptocurrencies to us so what we want to do is we want to filter our search and then the amount you want we are going to filter it as well so what we, we can do now is we can select so over here we're going to check it out from here so you can see we have usdt we have amount and then we have payment so let's make some adjustment from there so if i click on amount I have an option to input the amount i would like to buy so if it is the minimum amount that you can purchase from binance is 80 ghana cd so i'm going to select 80 ghana cd or 80 ghs and i'll click on confirm once i do that you see the system is going to fetch out and it will give me 80 ghana cd so there's a merchant that is available this merchant is called this merchant is called good luck and good luck is willing to what sell this currency to me and good luck is selling one dollar per 15.99 ghana cd so one dollar is equivalent to 15 cd 99 
pesos and then you just multiply it by the 80 cd so then you get to know the amount that will be sold to you at the same time this person says that in 15 minutes you should receive your payment at the same time this person assess mobile mt mobile money he assess um telecell cash as well so you want to make payment he also accepts a tertigo so you can see that one too if for example you want to see only that of what mtn or telecell you can filter it as well so for the payment if i click on payment you see these are the options if i want to view that of only mtn mobile money i just tap on mtn mobile money click on confirm and then to fish out and give me only merchants with mtn mobile money i can also fish it out for telecell on check mtn click on confirm and then it's also going to look through and pick out all the merchants that accept what telesell cash as well so you can see these two merchants are the only people available good luck is selling how good luck is selling what uh, accepts mtl money at the same time accepts telesell cash this one to access but other merchants see it reduce it to only two because there are only two people that have access to what telesell and it's available for me to add access remember you can also go for eco bank if it is bank transfer you click on eco bank if maybe you are doing that via bank it will list out if there's any merchant available so you can see there's nobody available at the moment so we're going to do that again and then we select what um telesell cash and then you confirm all right so remember at the top right here this is the currency so every country has got its own currency so if you are not in ghana then you have to click on the ghs and then you select your own currency but if you're in ghana if you're in ghana make sure that you have selected ghs so if i tap on this the other country's currency is shown right here so if i select let's say bbt that's some country's currency if i select that one and i have to agree and confirm and then to give me you can see this currency has changed to bbt to a different country's what currency our currency is ghs which is ghana so you make sure that you select or you search for ghs and then ghs will be and then automatically fetches out to and to give us what ghs and that of what and to give us that of ghana as well my chance available to make payment with you can also use the filter symbol as you can see here so there's a filter symbol if you click on that you can filter how the payment and everything should move you can enter the amount you want to specify if it's triggering as you can put it there and then the duration if you want in 15 minutes you can select that and then payment so you can also manually do this as well so let's go back so from here after you are done with that pick a merchant so you decide to go for one merchant so this merchant accepts mtm mobile money so if you want to use mtm mobile money for the payment then you have to select this option called buy if you also want to use ether to go that means that this person does not accept it so let's filter it once more let's go for 80 so let's assume you want to buy 80 cds and then the payment method we want to select you want to you can make the payment via mtn or telecell select both and then you confirm so once we do that we can see there are some merchants available right here for us to buy from so this person the first person says that if you want to buy from him one dollar is equivalent to 15 cd 99 pesos the second person also says that if you want to buy from him you have to one dollar is equivalent to 16 cd 25 pesos so you have to look through and then you go for the one that you prefer so if you want to buy it is preferable if you are buying you just go for the least amount that you have there so the least amount here should be what 15.99 so i could have gone for that one let me select the first option then we get to know what i mean so when you select the first merchant now the very first thing that you should note comparing the first one good luck you see you have to always check whether the person is online or not now if you want to know whether the person is online or not what you can do is right from here you see the name here you see there's a symbol right below that that it appears in green when you see that that means that the person is online but if you also see it this way you can see from here over there you can see that it is grayed out out it's not in gray it tells you that the person is offline so if you are dealing with trades you have to make sure that 
the person you're going to trade with, the person is online. If not, it takes quite a long time in order to receive your payment sent to your, your wallet. It's very, very important to know that as well. Then the next thing that you can think of now, as you can see, the next on the list, we have this level here. It says trade. Now, this person called Good Luck has traded with over, he has traded 13,138 trades. That's the number of trades that has been made. And then, he has over 92.10% and then he has been rated as what 94 so you always check the percentage that has been given so this is 94 the next person has a rate of 98 and is online so you can see and he has rated over 1300 uh, 1, trees and then he has a rate of what 98 so you look out for rates that is higher or is above 96 and above then you go in and then you click on the buy for the person and then at the same time the next thing you have to note here is the limit the peace person says that if you want to buy from him his limit is from 80 cities all the way to 6631 this one says that the limit is from 80 to what three thousand. so if you are buying more than three thousand, that means that this person is not the right person for you but if you are buying more than that that means that this person Will be the right merchant for you if the amount you're buying to is more than three thousand look through until you find the one who meets your specifications then you go ahead and you tap on one buy so the most important thing is that check to see if that merchant is online check the number of trades and check the rate level if it is above 96 then you go ahead and then you trade with the person and then you check the limit if it meets the amount you have then you can go ahead and then you buy so let's assume after deciding on what we need to do, we assume that we have decided that we want to go with this second person, if that's what you want. You can decide to go with the second person because it's online. Then the duration over here, the duration is 50. So in 50, within 15 minutes, this person will credit our account with it. So if it is mobile money, we are going to go with empty mobile money. Then we're going to click on buy. So once you click on buy, you can see what is happening here. So he says if you are going to buy an amount of 80 CD, so 80 CD will give you a corresponding amount in USDT, which is what? 4.87. Remember, if you don't want to buy that with USDT and want to buy with Bitcoin, you can go back and you can adjust it here. So over here, we have an option to choose the currency you want to buy. If you want to buy Bitcoin, the sell Bitcoin, you want to buy USDT, whichever currency you want to buy, tap on this to change to that particular what? currency. So if I tap on that, to give me the list of currencies that is available if you want to buy bitcoin i'll select that one now you see it will change it to what bitcoin uh -huh. but we are using usdt because usdt is a very stable coin that's what we're going to do but you can pick or you can decide to go for any currency of your choice so we go and click on buy again for benny cash then right here 80 cd is going to be equivalent to 4.87 and then the method payment method we selected was what MTN. So if it is MTN, you choose what MTN. If it's telesell cash, you choose what telesell cash. And then that one too is there. So you have to decide the payment method. If you're going to make the payment via MTN, you select MTN. If you're going to make the payment via telesell, you select telesell. So that one is up to you to decide. And then you can see right in here, there are some terms and conditions. You can see the positives and then the negative because it's very important for you to check that one also you check to see what people are saying is it good or bad that's why we said check to see that it is 80 86 and above what rate then after you're okay with it you just have to click on what uh place order So once you click on place order you can see there's a chat right here you have to click on the chat to see what happens to get more information about this trip so we're going to tap on chat and once we do that you can see that this person is online and then the payment is going to be available within 14 minutes so you can see that's why we said 15 minutes so in less than 40 minutes if everything goes from war the account account to be credited with that amount that we specify which is 80 cities so now this one says that So let's go down a bit. So you can see I bought some. I actually bought. Uh, I made payment of 80 CD from this person some time ago, and then 
after making the payment to the person I mean created my account with. so that's an example of how it works so basically what this person is saying is that if you are going to make the payment via MTN then he says that MTN uses pay to my mobile money number that is the number here so and then you use one as a reference so if you are MTA user this one also says that if you're te- you're going to make payment via USDT then you have to also go in here 443012 and then you're good to go and then you can also decide to chat the person right here that's the chat area then you chat the person um you can just say hi if the person is online just chat the person that uh are you available can we trade just put something there then you just ask the person that you want to trade and the person will give you the requirements you have to go through to uh, to to make the payment so once that is is confirmed by the once the payment is being done by you and then automatically the merchant is going to credit your account and once it's credited you can go back and then you confirm whether it has been credited to your account or not so that is it. so we go back and then once it's credited you'll be seeing that over here your balance will increase according to the recharge amount that you made so that's basically how you go about funding your account with either mta or telesoc thank you all for your time see you in the next video